Hello, welcome back to another vlog. My name is Tsekhos Yakhov. If it's your first time here, welcome. Um, I randomly decided that I want to start vlogging um, because the next few days are actually going to be a little eventful. Um, so I figured I would do a little day in my life over the next two days. But I might be getting vaccinated tomorrow. So crazy. So that's why I decided to vlog. Um, also, I'm going to the movies tonight with a friend. Um, with my husband and a friend and her boyfriend and then um, tomorrow I have dinner with a friend so I just figured it would be a fun little vlog to kind of bring you guys along with also I'm going to gym now I don't know if I have mentioned that I am um, <laughs> December weight gain finally caught up with me and yeah we are back to eating healthy and working out um, let me know if you guys want to see what I eat and how I stay healthy when I'm trying to lose weight. Um, obviously, everybody's different, but if that's something you're interested in, comment down below. Let me know if that's what you'd um, like to see. But yeah, now we're going to gym. Let me take you guys along with me. going to gym yet I'm gonna have a uh, Nespresso um, I do something that's called a fasted working out when I'm trying to lose weight and that usually means that you go to gym on an empty stomach so that you burn the fat that's already in your body so that's what I'm going to do but I'm gonna have a Nespresso with no sugar no milk as a pre-workout of sorts so yeah let me make that now <laughs> Oh my gosh, I look so crazy. I literally am soaked. Um, I just got done. I'm gonna go back upstairs, so yeah, let's go. So the last time you guys saw me, I was making myself breakfast while well, my first meal of the day, which is usually around two, three, sometimes four. I guess you'd say I intimate I do intermittent fasting, but I don't really 
pay attention. I don't really, I'm not strict about it. I just eat when I'm hungry, which is usually in the afternoon. And so ultimately I only have two meals a day. But anyway, I have 30 minutes to get ready now because we are going on a little double date with our friends. We're just gonna go watch um, the movies. I'm not too far from my house, so I don't wanna do too much, but I would like to look less tired. <laughs> So, um, you guys just gonna watch me do my quick and simple makeup. No makeup, makeup. Because my skin's currently behaving. Honestly, I'm not mad at it. But she yeah, on. Let's time lapse this. listen to Jasmine Sullivan's new album um, it's been out maybe now for like two or three weeks so let's change to that <laughs> Okay, so I'm done with my makeup. Um, I didn't use any foundation. I just put some concealer around under my eyes, around my mouth, a little bit over my nose, and then I just kind of blended it out so that I'm just, <laughs> like I just don't have concealer lines. And then everything else was pretty much like a bit of cream and a bit of powder, um, bronzer, blush, highlighter, and then gloss and mascara. So now I need to do something with this hair because I need to wash it. But, um, I've been too lazy. So I'm just gonna run over it with a straight pen and see if it looks less oily. It's so heavy and oily right now, but it's fine. Good thing it's just movies. Anyway, I'm going to speed you up through this. If you guys want to see um, my curling video, I will link it up at the top <laughs> so you can watch that. But I'm going to go back to listening to my music and then finish off this hair. I don't know why I was blurry. I think I was blurry the entire time. Sorry, guys. Um, but yeah. Sis lovey.
face of you. So just bye. The evening um i'm gonna close off today's vlog here well today here because i obviously can't take my vlogging camera with if i do film anything i will do it on my phone did i tell you guys that i got a new phone by the way um i got the new iphone 12 pro max um so i'm not gonna bring my camera with so i'll film anything on this but yeah you guys spent the day with me i'm gonna continue my vlog tomorrow because sam and i might be getting vaccinated so that'll be fun to capture and um i might be having dinner with a friend later so yeah okay bye for tonight see you guys tomorrow <laughs>
because I looked crazy, but that's how beautiful that movie was. But anyway, we're in my bathroom now. Um, I had promised you guys on my Instagram a Fenty skin review, but honestly it's three products and I don't think I'm gonna do a long-winded video on it. It's skincare that's pretty much straight to the point and I actually really like it. Um, I'm gonna compare it with some of the stuff that I have in my bathroom, which I thought would also be really cool to kind of show you if I have something that's similar to um, uh, one of the products from the Fenty Skin line and which one I think is better. But anyway, yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so let's start with a few facts about the brand. It's a clean brand, cruelty-free, vegan, gluten-free, non-comedogenic, daytime use, contains recycled materials and it's recyclable all great things for the environment we love to hear that so first i'm going to tell you guys about the fenty skin cleanser love this cleanser so the ingredients in this cleanser are some of well i'm not going to mention all of them i'm going to mention the highlights it does have fruit extract so that's usually very good for your skin because it can be a mild AHA BHA um, it also has coconut acid that's non comedogenic it's not like coconut oil which can close uh, clog your pores so that's good it's also got glycinate which is great very hydrating very moisturizing for your skin and glycerin betaine and what are some of the other highlights yeah and benzonate benzonate is great because it helps with acne prone skin so yeah very great ingredients in this um, it has a lot of fragrance but I think the way they have uh, manufactured and put together this product it's not going to be irritating to your skin if you have sensitive skin because it's so Oh, it's so creamy. It's so light. It doesn't feel too heavy on your skin. The fragrance doesn't like smack you in the face It just smells really good. So I've heard some people complain about the fragrance But honestly, I think the way it's been manufactured the fragrance is really not going to bother someone that has sensitive skin So I go in first with that Also, I bought the little starter kit because I wanted to try it first before I invest in the full product which I think is a great great um, idea from Rihanna and her team because sometimes with skincare you spend so much money buying the full size and then it doesn't work for you and then you've wasted money so I like that they came up with this idea so if you're somebody that wants to just try it out before you invest in the full product I would say definitely buy the starter kit anyway <laughs> As you can see, it foams up, but it's a very creamy consistency. Um, so I'm gonna load that. This has been my current morning skincare routine, just because my skin's behaving at the moment, so I don't need to do too much to it. So we're keeping it as simple as possible. Before I go back to the last product, um, from the Fenty Skin range. I just want to show you guys my current um, vitamin C. This one's by Ulla Hendrickson. Ulla Hendricks, <laughs> not Hendrickson. <laughs> I have been enjoying this. At first I didn't like it because I felt like I wasn't doing anything. I guess I'm used to vitamin C sometimes tingling on my skin and that makes me feel like it's working, which is actually not a good thing, but yeah. I like that and this doesn't have that tingling sensation but the ingredients on it are so amazing and listen I will be the first to admit when I don't give something a proper chance so I didn't like it at first and as you can see I'm pretty much almost done with it well there's still about a third left in the bottle and my skin is looking so good I don't know if you guys can tell but it's looking so good like it's helped so much with getting rid of some of my um, sunspots. And I just feel like my skin tone is just a lot more even and brighter. And yeah, I really like this product. I wanna try their other one. That is, I think, the Banana Bright. And apparently that's even more amazing than this one. So definitely recommend it. Um, it's not 
too expensive i'd say it's around about the same price as like a keels one if not just a little more expensive yeah i think it's around that price range so mid-range almost high-end but not too expensive if you can get it definitely try it okay and now the final product that i'm going in with actually no i need eye cream because <laughs> I know some people don't care for eye cream, but I love using eye cream. It just makes me feel like I've done my full skincare routine. <laughs> it's probably more habit than anything, but also I love this specific one. Let me just get it quickly. So the eye cream is the Capture Total by Dior. It is packed with amazing ingredients. It's almost like, one second, let's get it to focus first. The ingredient list on this is so amazing that this eye cream could easily be a serum. Um, just, it's so good. Um, I think I told you guys about it in one of my vlogs. I think I did. No, I know I did. Um, and I did a skincare review on it, so I'll link that up below as well. I don't know if we can link multiple videos. I've never done that before, but I'm going to try. We'll see. If not, I'll just tag it in my description box. So eye cream. And then we go in with the final product from Fenty Skin. And that is the Hydra Visor. This is, it's a moisturizer, I think you could skip this. <laughs> you could go and get a bit of moisturizer. It's not terrible, it's like really just an average hydrating um, day moisturizer. It has SPF 30, which I love. But I mean, it has, um, I know it has hyaluronic acid. It has um, yeah, it's just it, it, it has some really good hydrating ingredients in there. But I just yeah, for me it's just an average everyday moisturizer. It's not something I feel like I would need in my skincare routine, but I do like it for the day and I've been using it. So I like it for the SPF 30, but I'm still gonna go in with um sunscreen always on sunscreen I use um, this user in one and it's a SPF 50 so yeah I always double up on sunscreen So there you have it, my little mini Fenty skin review. Um, would I recommend this range? Yeah, definitely. For somebody who has no real skin concerns, I think that this skincare is amazing as an everyday um, skincare routine. I don't think I would recommend it for somebody who has like severe acne or severe dryness. It's not going to give you that. I think this skincare range is definitely for somebody who doesn't have skin that's too fussy. Um, I do love it. It's my current everyday um, skincare routine, my daytime skincare routine. As you can see, my skin is so nice and plump and dewy and hydrated. And so I love it for that. Um, yeah, so for me as an overall brand that works for everyone, this is definitely a good 8 out of 10. Um, but definitely if you have skin concerns, this is probably not the brand for you because it's not really going to attack any real... Um, severe acne issues you know the witch hazel in the fat water is great but it's not enough to help with really um, bad acne so this I think for somebody who has normal skin um, oily skin or dry skin it's great um, if you don't have any other major concerns outside of that so yeah love it I hope you guys try it and I know it wasn't really a full um, review. It's like a vlog style review. There's only three products. <laughs> okay, cool. So I got something that we can go and unbox together. 
Yesterday I got a cute little delivery from Dior. Love my Dior family. Um, so this is their latest release. It's the Dior Rouge, I think. Okay, so I have to be quick with this unboxing because my battery died as you saw while I was still reading the card to you guys. But I'm going to quickly show you guys what I got. I got some lip liners from them. I will open just one of them so you guys can see. Oh, I love that. It comes with a sharpener, a cute little deal. And then here we are. This is the shade. What shade is this? Oh, triple nine. Rouge Dior. Oh, that's nice. It's so creamy. That is very nice. Oh, I like this. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Dior. Can't wait to play. And they also sent me um, two of their rechargeable, refillable lipsticks. Uh, let's open the nude one because we've already seen the red lip liner. I love dual lipsticks. The formula is always so great. Okay, I want to see how how is it refillable? Reusable. Okay, I don't want to break this, so <laughs> I'm not going to try. And um, what else? There's something else in here. And they gave me their nail polishes. Is 080. Ooh, this is a cute little red, but it's like. Actually, let me open the other one as well and see. Um, okay, so these are the two nail polishes next to each other. This one's a little more orangey, and this one's more of a true cherry red. Talking about reds, look at how busted my nails are, but I'm going to do them today. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to thank Dior for their generous gifting. I absolutely love the brand, as you guys know. Um, I have a relationship with them. They're always so kind to me and so generous to me. So thank you so much, Dior. I cannot wait to play around with these. I should actually do a, um, I know I've been saying this a lot, but I should do a uh, makeup tutorial using some new products because I do have some new products. Um, the only thing that I haven't bought that too, that I haven't bought new of is the only thing that I haven't bought any new ones of is foundation. I don't even know if that sentence makes sense, but it's fine because it's right. Um so yeah that's what I got from Dior. I thought we could unbox it together. It's so so cute. Can't wait to play around with these. I'll also insert some photos and videos that I took on my Instagram right now. Sorry for the background noise, it's my washing machine. But I'm going to sit down now and do my nails because they are looking crazy. But because I featured a little um, time lapse of it in my last vlog, or the previous one, I'm not going to show you guys that. So I'll link up again with you guys when I make myself my first meal of the day. Right now it is one o'clock. I'm still not hungry. I may just have a coffee and water and then yeah, start with my nails and then I'll see you guys when I'm halfway through that or when I'm about to be done. We'll see, because I also need to charge my battery. So I'll see you guys soon. Okay, so such a bummer. 
I'm not going to be getting vaccinated today because um, they've run out of vaccines <laughs> naturally. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna be home then because I'm only going to leave to get vaccinated. I don't know if I'm still having dinner with my friend this evening. I'll call her and confirm. But yeah, I think we'll be able to get vaccinated in about a week or two. They just obviously have to wait to get restocked. And yeah, that's a bummer. Hmm. Okay, just wanted to update you on that. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. Ooh. <laughs> I've been gone for a while because I was doing my nails. These are my nails. I decided to go with white. I like them a lot. So yeah, just done doing my nails. I need to tidy up this mess and make myself something to eat. It's actually quite late, but I didn't want to stop. <sighs> Never mind. Anyway. <laughs> It is now 4.30, I need to eat something. I am having dinner with my friend later on today, so that's good. Um, good thing I did my nails. I did a acrylic dip and then I did a white gel on top. So, yeah. Okay, let me tidy up this mess, make myself something to eat, and then I'll start getting ready early because we're only meeting at nine for dinner. But I'll start getting ready now so that I can just chill. I'm actually quite tired. I don't know if I should chill and then... Whatever, let me tidy up this right now. <laughs> oh, sorry, that's my TV in the background. Um, we are in my kitchen now. I am going to make myself a bowl of muesli because I'm too lazy to make something to eat. It's already 4.30. I'm having dinner at 9. If I have muesli now, I'll be fine till then. Yeah, I don't have enough time to think about food today. So I'm not even going to add any fruits in it. Add these balls. Some Greek yogurt. The music and the honey. finished doing my makeup and I realized that I wasn't recording um, I recorded like a little bit which I've probably inserted if I haven't it's because it looks weird but um, yeah I forgot to record for the most part and I just realized now that I'm about to do my mascara um, I already put on my primer for my mascara and then I'm gonna use these two mascaras I've shared them on here so many times, um, but she y'all, and we'll speed you guys through that. While I wait to um, put on my second coat of mascara, I'm gonna do my lips. I hate being asked um, what lip color I'm wearing because I wear like five or six, no, not five, but I wear quite a few lipsticks at the same time. So I'll just show you guys how I'm doing my lips today. Because I want to try the um, the Rouge Dior nude look in 100, um, uh, the one that I got gifted. I'll be including it in this. I'm also going to be using my Huda Beauty interview. I love this lipstick, and my Old Faithful. You've seen it in so many of my videos. It's my um, makeup forever artist color pencil in Limitless Brown. <clears throat> I think I want to go for a nude 
I mean a uh, matte lip tonight. So. crazy how your makeup fully comes together once you do your lips. I'm gonna go in with interview. I'm just gonna dab it on to kind of diffuse the liner. And then I'm gonna go over that <clears throat> with this nude. Ooh. Oh, I love this and it's so creamy. Oh, is this matte or is it like a satin finish? Wait, let me see. Oh, it says matte. It is a matte. Oh, but it's not matte. It doesn't feel matte at all. It feels very satiny. I like it. And it's not too light for me, which I love. So, essentially, actually, the reason I used Interview is because I thought this was going to be too light and this would help balance it, but I realized with this dark lip liner, I can literally just go out with these two, which is what I'm gonna do because I have a very small handbag and I love the formula of this lipstick. It's not matte at all. Like it is, but it has a bit of a satin finish to it. Can you see that? It's not fully, fully matte. Oh, I love this. Thanks, Dior. Love. It. So I want to take a photo on my phone to post on my Instagram stories with the lipstick.